This is the Iowa Weather Report for Sunday, March 30th, 2014. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At 1 p.m. this afternoon, we have some energy moving off the eastern seaboard. We have another piece of energy moving into the inner mountain west. In between, we have a ridge developing, and that will be bringing in southwesterly winds around here today with high temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Any precipitation will be across the mid-Atlantic into New England, across the inner mountain west, the Pacific north and west. That storm over the inner mountain west will be coming in our direction here on Monday with a low pressure center somewhere between Sioux City and Omaha. This could bring some showers and thunderstorms across the state. Some blizzard conditions possible in the Dakotas and Minnesota. We'll see highs in the 40s northwest to 60s south and east with falling temperatures in the afternoon, especially in the western and central counties. And then Tuesday, that system is now to the north and east. Temperatures cool down into the 40s across the state, maybe a few 50s. And then the next system comes in here on Wednesday, and this could bring us some rain with some embedded thunder around with highs in the mid-40s to maybe mid-50s across the state. And then as we head into Thursday, that moves off to the east. Another storm is beginning to take shape over New Mexico and Colorado. And this will start moving in our direction late Thursday night, especially into the day on Friday. And this too could bring us some rain around, maybe a little bit of a wintry mix in our northwestern counties late in the day and into Friday night. Otherwise, it will be a cold rain with highs in the 40s to near 50 degrees. And that low pressure center to our south will be well up to near Buffalo or between Buffalo and Syracuse. Cold air comes back down as the 540 line dives into Missouri, so temperatures back into the 40s for highs on Saturday. And a week from today, you can see next Sunday, we pretty much have a zonal flow at this point. No big amplitude type pattern of cold air up north just dumping in. We don't have that, so that's at least one good thing. But we do see pretty much a couple of the systems, one just to our north, could scrape the state with a few showers, cold front along the Gulf Coast, and some showery and snowy weather off to our north and west. Going into the extended period, April the 10th, we have one system moving off the Canadian Maritimes, another system diving into Baja, California, a southwesterly flow aloft. And with that, that could bring a system together over Nebraska and Kansas, the Gulf starting to open up. If this is right, we could see temperatures back up in the 60s and 70s, similar to what we are going to have today. But this is still speculation. And then at the end of the forecast, April 14th, a pretty decent piece of energy moving across the Great Lakes and into the Midwest. And if this is to be right, with some southwesterly flow aloft on the lee side of this, this could bring a pretty potent system around toward the end of the period, near near around tax day. So this is a system we'll have to watch in the coming days, but like I've said before, this could be very gone on the very next run. Satellite so image from last evening. We have a storm system along the east coast producing some rain and maybe a little bit of snow there. Another system moving into the west producing some clouds, some rain, and some mountain snow. In the middle, pretty clear and quiet. The watch warning map from last evening, some winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings in the Appalachians up into New England, some flood watches there as well. Blizzard watch in the Dakotas and western Minnesota with some winter storm watches. Some winter weather issues also back into the Sierras. QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Thursday evening at 7 o'clock. Shows precipitation around here could total an inch to maybe an inch and a half over the two storms in this period. Heaviest looks to be still in New England.